Here's what's happening on Juno's Connect. How can you simply connect to your network? We have a wired less approach you won't want to miss. And all of you network software developers, listen up. We're going to tell you how to build additional intelligence into your network. Hi, I'm Kara Suboy. Welcome to Junos Connect, your one-stop video source for all things Junos. With the influx of new tablets and smartphones, the shift from wired to wireless networks is inevitable. Joining us today is Tom Clavel to talk to us about how Juniper's Simply Connected approach can accommodate this shift. Welcome, Tom. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Kara, for having me. Why don't you start by telling us about connectivity and how enterprise networks are evolving these days? Well, we see three important trends right now sending in, in the enterprise network. The first trend is the multiplication of smart net devices over the network. Sure. The network is truly everywhere. The second trend is the fact that wireless devices are becoming business critical. And this is something we haven't seen before. You see doctors using handheld devices to treat their patients. Mm -hmm. You're going to see account managers taking orders using their, their tablets or you're going to see suppliers responding to their customers uh, or to any emergency from their customers using those handheld devices. The third trend is the fact that you have more and more rich media applications. And this is not just about video. Video is a big part of it. Mm -hmm. But this is really about very complex applications that are multi-point and trying to connect users to users and users to application from anywhere on the network. Now, all three of these trends sound complicated. How are companies managing? Well, uh, this is a real complex issue for network administrators. And network administrators need to connect the users in a manner that's easy for them, mm -hmm. that's secure for the users and for the network, and that is also scalable. Of course. Uh, so connectivity is key. And we call this, we basically call this Simply Connected. So what exactly is Simply Connected? I mean, are we talking about a product, an idea, a solution? Give us some details. So Simply Connected, it's an array of solutions that Juniper Networks has developed in order to simplify that, uh, the management of the users, give them access to the network um, no matter where they are and no matter what devices they're using. Uh, so we call this Simply Connected. So give me an example. A quick example is the fact that Juniper Networks is now offering a virtual chassis on every tier of the network using the EX switches. Uh, that means that customers get to manage fewer sports, fewer devices, and less complexity on the network. More efficient networks enables rich media applications and bandwidth-hungry applications on the network. With fewer devices to manage and with rich media applications running on your network, you're able to connect users to their applications in a manner that's easy, scalable, and secure, and we call this Simply Connected. Thanks, Tom. Coming up next, we'll have more Simply Connected solutions for you, wireless style. If you're looking for information about Junos, go to Juno Central. There, we'll tell you about the latest webcasts. Plus, we'll have an archive of the ones we've already done. You're also going to find day one booklets. We have the books, information about the books, and the bios of all the authors. Just go to www.juniper.net slash Junos. You can even find all the Junos Connect videos. I'm just saying. Welcome back to Junos Connect, your video source for Junos technology and news. I'm Kara Suboy. With a staggering amount of new Wi-Fi enabled devices and the move toward wireless networks, IT departments must ensure that the reliability and security is equal to a wired network. Joining us today is Steve Troyer to tell us about some wireless access technology that can deliver just that. Thanks for joining us, Steve. Thanks for having me, Car. I really appreciate it. Why don't you start by telling us about Juniper Wireless that'll solve these complicated problems for IT departments? What makes it so unique? Well, Juniper Wireless is not just any wireless solution. It's an integral part of Juniper Simply Connected solution for wired-less networks. Um, when a network is primarily, the access is primarily wireless, you need to ensure at the highest level of reliability, of scalability, and also of uh, seamless roaming from, from one part of the network to the other. And Juniper does that through some pat patented technology, which we call virtual controller clustering. Tell me more about virtual controller clustering, or VCC. 
So VCC is, is unique in, in, in the uh, industry. From a reliability perspective, you create a pool of, of controller resources, not just one or multiple uh, or, or a small number of controllers to fail over to, but a large pool of resources. And if one of those uh, controllers should fail, the other access points fail over to the other controllers. You were talking about sub half second failover times. There's nothing like it in the industry. It's amazing. From a, a seamless roaming perspective, you're able to roam not only from one AP to the next seamlessly, but also from one controller to the next. You're not anchored to a single controller, and that has great, um, great um, roaming benefits. And from a scalability perspective, with this pool of resources, we've got customers are, who are able to scale from, uh, say, 50,000 sessions to 150,000 sessions, not by changing their network, uh, but just by, by having this pool of, of, uh, of, of controllers that, that, that people can access. That's great. Now, what about some other technologies for security and just to make it life easier? In a growing uh, all wireless or multi mostly wireless environment, uh, management is key, and Ringmaster, which is the management platform for Juniper Wireless, is unmatched in the industry and, and, and awarded by many industry analysts as the best management platform available. We take care of the planning phase, the configuration phase, the monitoring, and the ongoing management of that network. And then from a security perspective, uh, Juniper Wireless is integrated with j other Juniper uh, security platforms, including the Unified Access Control Solution, uh, so that you can do dynamic policy management. And then you can also use the Junos Pulse client to provide secure access from anywhere in the campus or anywhere in the world, no matter what you're connected to. Wow, good stuff. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate thank, it. Thank you. To find out more, be sure to register for the live webcast on Juno Central. We'll take a deeper dive into the products and technologies so you can simply connect. Coming up next, find out how you can use Junos SDK to develop, deploy, and validate network apps on Junos. Looking for answers to questions about Juniper products? Join JNet and tap into the collective knowledge of a global community. Find solutions from Juniper users, experts, and Juno certified engineers. Register for your free user account and join the conversation from your mobile or your computer. Go to the link on your screen to sign up now. Welcome back to Juno's Connect. I'm Kara Suboy. With the expanding cost of running a network due to increased traffic, the ability to innovate is vital. Having the right tools and platform to create and deliver new services for your network is key. Today we have Jeet Call with us to talk about developing innovative network apps with Juno's SDK. Thanks for joining us, Jeet. Very happy to be here. Well, why don't you give us the background of the Junos SDK? Absolutely. You know, before I do that, let me give a shout out to Junos. You know, Junos is an incredible platform. It's a huge competitive advantage for us. It enables us to do all kinds of things. And it's a platform that runs on all kinds of uh, systems that we have here. Uh, let me talk about the SDK. Our primary purpose is to take this platform, open up APIs, and make them available to our customers, to our partners, and developers externally. Uh, so we do do that, and the second part of the exercise is we create tooling, we create libraries, so developers can very easily build these applications on top of their platform, um, on, on top of their desktops, and then deploy them onto the systems and debug them. So that's the purpose. And of course, we do a second part of the exercise, which is evangelizing it to our customers and partners and evangelizing internally. Going back to the APIs, what sort of APIs does it provide? So there are a couple of big blocks of things that we do. We have APIs that manage the control plane, this RESDK part of it, and then we have APIs that manage the services uh, plane, which is the uh, services SDK part of it. So we have you know, general APIs, the Unix POSIX APIs, network access APIs, we have forwarding APIs, but then we have a specific APIs that manage the UI network management part of it, and that enable us to do build apps uh, that control the network management. Then we have also um, APIs in the services plane that cover deep packet inspection, session management. So a whole slew of these APIs that enable uh, people to build applications and harness the uh, huge amount of stuff that we have in Juno's platform. So tell me about those people building the apps. Let's talk about how the developers benefit. The big uh, benefit for developers basically is, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening in the network and customers and partners need features, a whole lot of them all the time. And uh, it makes time to market easier for them. So there are things that they want to do, develop internally, things that Juniper is never going to develop. Mm -hmm. It's now possible for them to take the same platform, build applications on top of that. Give me some examples of applications already built. 
Two of our uh, big partners that I talk about that uh, internally uh, Group RSPU has been championing uh, is that uh, Trifani, it does video monitoring, Telcomy that does voice over IP monitoring. Uh, we have customers, you know, like Entity that at BGP uh, hijack prevention, and then we have customers at Telcom Italia that have taken X25 protocol, merged it with uh, the IP networks and, and use the uh, Junos SDK. So ton, uh, tens of partners, you know, lots of applications available in the market mm -hmm. uh, on top, built on top of Junos SDK. Thank you so much for your time, Jeet. Appreciate thank, it. Thank you. Look for more information, case studies, and how to register on the Junos SDK website. That's it for this episode. I'm Kara Suboy. We'll see you next time right here on Junos Connect.